I guess there have been quite a lot of um, developments in recent years in FLIT3 mutated AML. Uh, I think for most countries now, the, the standards management for these patients includes standard chemotherapy with a dawner rubicin cytarabine combination um, in combination with Midastorin, which is a so-called first-generation um, FLT3 inhibitor, which is a, a multi-kinase inhibitor, which was um, licensed and approved um, following the, the International Ratify study about four or five years ago. Um, I mean, we've had some quite um, important results recently from the um, UK AML, well, UK with partner countries, AML 19 study, um, which was actually data that was gathered in the period immediately before Midastorin was approved. So it was the patients receiving chemotherapy in combination with the immunoconjugate Mylotarg. Um, and in that study, um, we, we saw very good longer term outcomes for the FLT3 mutated patient population with the chemotherapy backbone of Flagida in combination with Mylotarg. Um, and there are, all, there's, there are always difficulties in, combi in comparing different clinical trials and the outcomes in different clinical trials, but certainly the outcomes we were seeing were in combination with Mylotarg in the FLT3 population were at least as good at, if not superior, than those that were coming out of DA Midasaur in, in the ratified study. So I think we strongly believe that intensive chemotherapy backbone, including Mylotarg, is a very important part of the management of FLT3 mutated AML for patients who are um, suitably fit for intensive chemotherapy at the beginning. Um, but the difficulties is that these combinations haven't been really combined with Midastorin yet. So certainly in the UK, and again, partner countries, hopefully Denmark and New Zealand, we are shortly going to be opening a prospective phase three study to assess this in a bit more detail. Um, so that will include th three treatment options for newly diagnosed patients with FLT3 mutated AML. It will include a standard control arm, which will be DA with Midastorin. And we're going to be comparing that with two options that have sort of come out of the AML-19 study. So that will be DA Midastorin with Mylotarg, the so-called Mydotarg combination that was successfully piloted at the end of the AML-19 study. And also we're looking to combine the drugs with Flagida chemotherapy as well. So we'll be looking to give Flagida with Mylotarg and Mydostorin to see which of these options has the best event-free survival associated with it. I think the other main uncertainty in the management, the frontline management of FLT3 mutated patients is going to be the role of where the second generation FLT3 inhibitors come in. And that really isn't very well defined yet, but we're going to be very interested in seeing those results of current trials over the next few years.